I'm Susan Aruda. I'm going to be using monkey feet in this next segment and we're going to train the booty and the back of the legs. I'm using a pair, so load yours up and let's train. We're going to start in a standing position. I have a bench here that we're going to use as we progress. So standing, abs in, you want to leg curl. So bring your heel towards your butt. You can place your hands behind your head. Stay open or hold on to something. Okay. Exhale. Bring that heel as high towards your butt as possible. Stand tall. Four more. Come on, don't arch that back. Stay in pelvic tilt. All right, leaning forward, heel towards your butt. Lift and extend with control, down. Now fight to keep your hips square here. You don't want to compromise your body position. You want to stay engaged through the core. And lift, heel to your butt, extend, lower, squeeze, and down. Squeeze, extend with control. Lower down, squeeze and lift with control. So you're working on both parts of the movement. And down, squeeze. Come on, fight to keep those hips square. Shoulders press down away from your ears. And last time through. And all right, straight leg lifts, pause, lower. Up, pause, and lower. Come on, squeeze that booty, keep those abs, earnestly pulled in, lift, pause, and down. Lift, pause, and lower, up, and down slow, keep that toe pointing straight ahead, okay? Don't let your um, foot turn outwards or inwards. We're working the gluteus maximus. Lift, and down, lift, and down, up, and down. Okay, we're gonna add some pulses at the top of this movement. Pulse, two, three, and lower down slow. Up, pulse, two, three, lower down slow. Exhale to lift, and down. Come on, work into shape and build those glutes. Booty on fire, come on. Work through the burn. Down, exhale. And down, last one. Up, two, three, and down. Let's hold at the top. If you need to go down to your elbows to offer some relief from your wrists, go for it. Pulse it at the top. Come on, make sure that toe is pointing down. Breathe deep. Come on. We got eight more. Seven. Six. Come on. Keep those abs pulled in. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. You're going to extend behind to the other side. Lift. And extend down to the, to the same side. Up. And across. So arc the leg. Okay. First you go back and pause, and then you go behind, back, and to the side. Back, and behind, and 
back. Come on, slow and controlled. Keep those hips square. Both the muscles doing the work, the glutes, the legs, lower body, lift and down and lift and down. Last time through, lift and down and up and down. All right, so hold it back to the opposite side and lift. Extend back and lift. Exhale, forcefully to lift. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Come on, think of the payoff, the end result. You want tightened toned glutes, a round sculpted booty. Let's work it. Exhale. Exhale. Four more. And keep those abs pulled in. Last one. Hold it here. All right. Bend that foot, bend that leg. Little pulses to the ceiling. Come on, fight through this, work it. You got this, pulse it. Come on, last eight, seven, six, come on. Little pulses at the end of that range of motion. And one, release it. Bring that uh, body up, okay? Take it back, all right? Now, just squeezing at the end of that range of motion in that leg curl. Squeeze, squeeze. Come on. You can stay down on the elbows if that feels better for you, but you wanna stay square, fight, fight. And squeeze. Last eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, okay, we're gonna lower down slow, drop the leg, bring it up, squeeze. Extend, lower down slow, up, squeeze, and down, and squeeze, down, last two, and last one, and, all right, we are going to have a seat. You're gonna extend that leg that you were standing on, stretch it out, leaning forward, keeping the back flat. Just a quick stretch there. Okay, same leg that was extended is going to work, okay? Now here, you can have a seat, and we're gonna lift and lower that same leg. And anchor with your hands behind the bench to stay nice and tall. And come on, using the core, the hip flexors to lift that leg up. And four more, three, Come on, fight to stay tall. All right, okay, hold it here. You're going to circle the leg outwards. Slow and controlled. All right, reverse that circle, other way. Fight to stay tall. Two more. Last one. Oh my goodness. That is very, very effective. We gotta stretch that leg out, okay? Stretch it out. Okay. Okay, so just standing, you're gonna lift that leg up and down. Same leg. Come on, we're overloading. Keep the upper 
upper body nice and tall, abs pulled in, you're not resting, you're lifting and lowering, right back up. Do not disengage the abs, especially at the bottom of this move. Exhale. All right, so lift to the front, lift to the side. Lift, lift front and side. Of course, if you need to hold on for balance, do so. But try and work on that balance, work on that core. Your standing leg is slightly bent to protect that lower back. If you need to tap down in between, go for it. And almost there, come on. Let's hold it to the side, hold little pulses. Come on into that range of motion that, at the very top. Four, three, two, one. Open and close. Keep it up. Exhale. Come on, keep those elbows open. Just pressing gently against your hands. And keep that, that knee at hip height. Let's go four more. Four, three, two, and last one. Whoo, release it. Okay, extend that leg all the way back, going into a deep runner's lunge, stretching it out, just rocking it forward and back. Little bounces. If that feels good for you, a little bit of dynamic stretching when you're good and warm is helpful for helping you gain flexibility. Always listen to your body. All right. So alternating the legs, kicking back. Okay. In this position, you're going to lift that leg that we worked. You're going to turn the foot out and up, out to the side and up, anchor, stay tall, put your hands behind you to support and isometric, muscle under tension, working hard, four more, three, two, last one, oh, release it. Okay, get that leg all the way back, lifting your body up, and just again stretching up that hip flexor. And breathing deep. Okay, now we're gonna stand and just stretch out that quadricep. Make sure the knee is in line with the other knee. Push your foot against your hand. Okay, we gotta work the other side. So put that weight on the other leg. Without any loads, you're still gonna feel it. 